Hello, welcome to another toneless landscape oil painting demonstration. This is your painter in residence, M. Francis McCarthy. And the painting I'm bringing you today is called Indian Summer, and it's a 5x7, it's a little sunset. And I painted this very recently, probably about two, three weeks ago, and um, I'm real happy with it. That's why I'm sharing it with you today. I like it. It's quite simple. Um, but I think it's 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 a strong little painting and um, actually I have used the same scene the same composition the same trees uh, not even that long ago uh, to do another little painting which resembled this resembles this very little but uh, maybe you're clever and you might spot it anyway um, I will say the other one was very small and it was square so there's a no prize to anyone that can uh, tell me which painting that was that I featured ooh, in the last month and a half or so. Anyway, uh, you know, it's December. What's today anyway? It's like the 7th, 8th, or 9th, or 14th. Oh my god. Yes, not much left of 2017. And you know, we all get sort of reflective this time of year and look, look back on the year. And I have to say, I'm very happy with uh, the direction my paintings taken this year quite a few uh, new uh, things that I've added and the outside things aren't really as important as the inside things you know I have a I don't know I'm, I'm more willing to embrace color for one uh, I am, uh, you know, I've, I've gotten into the texture and stuff, which is something that uh, I played with in the past, but, you know, I've embraced that too. And uh, what I like about the texture is it kind of, kind of lends a bit of dynamics to the whole affair. And uh, now my feeling is with the texture, uh, the painting should be strong whether it was textured or not, you know. You don't want texture to be a crutch, and uh, I do see artists do that. I uh, don't know if I've ever done it, but I uh, try not to use too many crutches, but uh, you know how it is sometimes. We do, you know. Anyway, uh, this painting is so, it's it's all pushed off into this orange, yellow, uh, uh, red zone. And I've been doing a bit of that lately. In fact, uh, you know, I could do that to almost anything, really. I've got it figured out. I've got it sussed. And, um, you know, I have to resist the temptation not to make every painting like this, since this does seem to be pretty popular for me. I've had great response to this sort of uh, um, landscape with the, you know, the golden tones and what have you. Um, recently, though, I've done some, like, redos, uh, one of which I featured on a, like, work-in-progress post on Instagram where... I just went nuts. I mean, it's the sky's purple gradating down into yellow through a red, and uh, it's extremely successful, and I'm really happy with it. And I uh, did it uh, this sort of thing to a couple other of these redos, and uh, it's great because the redos, of course, are kind of cleaving. They were originally cleaving to a more naturalistic sort of uh, coloration, and uh, because uh, in many cases uh, the painting may have, may have been in a box since 2013 or something, I'm not attached to it anymore. I'm just going to take it for a ride. And I have taken some for some very, very interesting rides lately. Uh, there was one not too long ago where I just kind of... It always felt kind of cool to me. So I thought, well, eh, we'll just make it a night scene. And I started glazing very, very heavily with uh, phthalo blue. And uh, I do have a photo of that, and I will be sharing it. Uh, uh, when I do, uh, maybe I'll mention that I, I, I mentioned it in the past. Well, who knows? I have a lot of paintings. I do a lot of work. And uh, actually, I've had some pretty good sales this year, too. That's another thing to be happy about for uh, 2017. I've got some... Uh, um, some pretty good galleries on board. There's a new gallery in my town that's, uh, she's moving some work and, uh, I got on board with another gallery that was an old gallery, but a friend of mine 
or I should say an associate of mine that I've been working with for many years in another gallery had bought that gallery and uh, she's awesome and uh, she's been selling work too so it's always good to be selling work especially when you're prolific as I am and um, I'm slowing down a little bit because uh, playing with all this marketing stuff and I'm working on a special project which I'm not going to mention because I don't want to jinx myself but it's been it's been difficult this special project but believe I believe it will pay off big dividends down the road in fact that's what I'm doing in the studio today I wanted to paint but I am uh, not painting because I'm forcing myself to do this other thing and uh, it's not so bad once I get started get into it but uh, Heck, if I had my way, all I'd do is paint every day, every day, and uh, just make painting, 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 painting. And um, heck, if somebody could just take them away and then uh, bring me back a wheelbarrow of cash, I'd be happy with that. That hasn't happened yet, but who knows? I've only been at this for about uh, <laughs> eight years now. So I guess next year would be nine years, and um, I, you know, I have to say for all the success that I, I've had in the past, and when I've had some good success and some good sales, not not ever really at the level that I wanted or felt I deserved. But looking back on some of my work, I have, if I'm honest, I have to say um, that I'm so much better now that uh, I was lucky to have su the success I did because in some cases I, I was, was definitely not as good as I thought I was, you know? Or sometimes you'll do work that's very strong, um, but uh, the rest of the work you do is hit or miss, you know? And uh, consciousness is a funny thing, you know, as is time. Time and consciousness, I think, is basically what's creating this whole uh, reality. You know, evolution, evolution of consciousness and evolution as an artist is uh, what's driving uh, my work. And um, that's really one of the great things. I think you might be comparable to, you know, I don't have children. Um, I have friends that have children, but um, that's also a way that you can <clears throat> find to evolve as a person. Um, is when you have a child and you can, you know, they start as an infant that can't even talk and, and they move down through time and the years and, uh, you know, uh, you move with them, but you, you, you turn around and they're bigger and bigger and bigger. Next thing you know, they're moving out, they're adults and they're starting their own families. And this is all about evolution too. And, uh, like I say, I don't have the kids, so I can't really, uh, I can't really actually say much about that. But I do have paintings, and my paintings evolve. And um, and uh, you know, I look back at things I haven't uh, looked at for a while that maybe were in storage or whatever, and I go, "Wow, that was pretty good." Or I look at it and I go, "Wow, I know how I could make that really good now," you know. And the temptation, of course, is uh, great to uh, with uh, with these redos I've been doing to just. You know, uh, so far it's been limited to five by sevens, but trust me, there's more than a few larger paintings I'm looking at when I'm thinking, hmm, maybe I could do something crazy to this one, you know, and I might just do that. We'll have to see what 2018 brings. Um, I hope it was, uh, I hope it brings as much uh, evolution and progress with my art as I had in 2017, because I have absolutely no complaints about that. Um, the painting that you're looking at now, I couldn't have done this painting last year uh, with where my head was at and it's not really about the texture and it's not even about the ground color it's about <clears throat> my mindset it's about how I've changed and how I've evolved as an artist and uh, that's exciting and uh, if you're an artist and you're listening to this you know you know what I'm talking about uh, and uh, it really only comes through hard work right I mean I don't know any other way uh, well, you study uh, education, yes, um, looking at the work of others, reading, and uh, I have to say, studying things like philosophy and things, it all adds up, it all goes into the work, and uh, uh, like, a, you know, I, I, I'm just really thrilled with the way this year has gone. Now, this is not the last post I'll be doing this year. Um, in fact, I'm thinking of cracking out a, um, a past master 
uh, I don't know, maybe tomorrow or the next day, but <clears throat> uh, I'm not really doing the, <clears throat> pardon me, the YouTube thing, um, but I am still doing the blog thing, so hopefully you found this on the blog and you're digging it, and uh, and I'm not saying I'm not going to get back on YouTube, I mean all I really got to do is just turn the switch and this video will be up on YouTube, so we'll see what the uh, the future brings, but for now I'm just cooling it with social media, and uh, like I said, hopefully you found this on my blog, and you're following it, and you're digging it, and uh, I'm going to be back, and uh, b before I see you next time, do me a favor, and uh, please take good care of yourself and your family, and stay out of trouble.